Good afternoon. Welcome to today's webinar, Everything You Need to Know About the EZE EMS, formerly Realtek, trading platform. My name is Rob Libson. I am the VP of Business Development and Sales at Lightspeed. Uh, we're happy to provide you with various presentations, give you some overview on our software offerings and some training tools and, and information when possible to provide you with the proper services and tools that you need for your trading business. We do think that trading is your business and you do need the right partners and the trading tools to, to be successful. So that is what we try to provide our clients. So we will do a nice overview of this trading platform as one of our alternative trading software programs that we offer. There's a lot of settings and configurations and, and offerings that this platform provides. So we like to just shed some light on that every once in a while to give people an alternative. So maybe it has some things they're looking for that they weren't aware that we offer. Uh, before we get started, we're just going to do a very quick disclosure here. This presentation is for informational purposes only. Nothing presented today should be construed as investment advice or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any security or contract. Since we don't know everyone's investment objectives or risk tolerance, we're not endorsing any specific trading strategies. Security derivative and futures trading involves a substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Each investor must consider whether this is suitable investment since you may lose all or more than your initial investment past performance is not indicative of future results. Lightspeed Financial Services Group LLC is not affiliated with any of the third market commentators, educators, or service providers on our website. The data, information, and material, the content are provided for informational educational purposes only. This content neither is nor should be construed as an offer, solicitation, or recommendation to buy or sell any securities or contracts. Any investment decisions made by the user through the use of such content is solely based on the user's independent analysis, taking into consideration your financial circumstances, investment objectives, and risk tolerance. Lightspeed Financial Services Group, LLC, does not endorse, offer, nor recommend any of the services or commentary provided by any of the market commentator, education, or service providers. Any information used to execute any trading strategies are solely based on the independent analysis of the user. Okay, thank you for that. That's a mouthful. Try to get through it quickly here. Um, as I said, my name is Rob Libson. If you are looking for more information on opening an account with Lightspeed or just more information on a demo or setting up a training session with us, uh, please feel free to contact myself at uh, rlibson, R-L-I-V-S-O-N at lightspeed.com, or you could email sales at lightspeed.com as well. We'd be happy to schedule training, go over any costs, add questions about the software, our services, our offerings, and then try to match you with the right service to, to get you on your way with opening an account with Lightspeed. Okay, um, just so you know, this is the lightspeed.com website. You can request a demo for any of the trading platforms, whether it's the Yes Easy platform or Lightspeed Trader or our mobile offering or Sterling. So we have all the demos available the software available for demo requests for trials so you can test it out. You can view our pricing here as well and also some of our material, our past webinars. You can sign up for our upcoming ones. We have one for our Lightspeed Trader, one for Sterling. This one's going to be for Realtek. And then, you know, you, we have a full list of archived videos as well, including market commentary, strategies, um, and just other software offerings as well, economic recaps. So we certainly have a lot of material on our archive as well. Okay, so we are going to get into the program here. This is the EZE as EMS Realtik software. I still refer to it as Realtik. I've used this program for maybe 15 years now, so it's always going to be Realtik in my heart. But uh, officially, it's the as EME, e, Easy EMS program. You can see it is um, can be pared down to some of your basic order entry and chart and, and watch list windows. And then you can really start to customize your layout and increase the settings and really customize it and build it up to something more advanced. So sometimes these programs look a little intimidating at first. They can be um, a little bit of a learning curve, but that's why we offer these demo trials so you can get used to that. And typically, 
a one week of using the program, you can really see how quick the learning curve jumps up and how you can really uh, benefit from using some of the platforms we offer. So um, we have a little bit of an outline that was on our registration. So we're going to try to follow that. And certainly as questions come in, just please, you can um, type them in and I'll try to answer them as they're relevant to the topic at hand and try to get to them at the end if I can. Otherwise, you can always email me for additional questions. So we just want to go into the layout and how to customize the layout and saving and loading layouts at first. So this is one of the default layouts that you would receive. If you go into the page menu, that you can see we do have the ability to open up additional um, saved layouts that they have. So they have a whole bunch of saved layouts already as defaults. We have a client default. We have an equity sales trader. We have a single monitor or double monitor as well. So you, there's a lot of different defaults that they have to get you started. So I just simply have to click and open and it's going to populate with uh, a new type of layout, maybe a different view of how to go through the program here. And you can easily go back and save different layouts for different data categories and columns that you're looking for starting with this client default. And you can see we just have some basic windows. We have a level two window here in the upper left-hand corner. You can see the information on top, the bid ask, the last sale, the change. We have our level two and the market makers in the middle showing the exchange, the size, and the price for the bids and offers. You can use your order entry form right on the level two window or you can remove it and add it to any additional window as well so there's a lot of ways to enter orders we'll try to go through a lot of these as well but you can see it's as basic as changing your price selecting your order type and you can see there's quite a bit here something simple like a limit and then you simply have to hit the buy or sell button you can choose to have a confirmation show up to have the details or you can simply have these orders go in as a one click so you don't need these confirmations, but it's, uh, it can be very simple. So I'll just cancel that there. Now, moving on to the next one here, we have our charts. If I right click, everything's derived through the settings menu. I go into setup. This is where I could change my parameters very easily. I could change it to a one minute chart. I could change it to a weekly or monthly chart. I, can, I even have seconds charts here, tick charts. So people look for those on our other platforms. We have them on Realtek. You can use a seconds bar, a tick chart here. So we do have these offerings. If I just go into, we'll say the one minute chart, I can choose to have this as a bar or a candle and simply change it. And you can see right away that will go into a very nice looking candle. If I stretch it out, I can I can have the time frame. You can see these charts can be very clear and detailed once you drill down and have them set up the way you like. I right click again, I go to display and analysis, and this is where I can add these moving averages or different studies and conditions. I simply have to click the add study. I'm going to choose anything from the drop down here, it's stochastics, RSI, volatility, VWAP. I simply have to click it, I hit OK. And I add that data category. You can see right away the, the VWAP is on there. So it's uh, very easy to add and change timeframes here as well. So if I want to just make that a one day chart, you know, I can do so as well. So you really have the option to customize these charts and, and make them uh, very clear. And you certainly can change all the colors in the backgrounds as well. So you have that ability. You can show orders on your charts, you can show your executions, and you can you know, change all the colors here as well. If you go into the attributes, you can change the background. If I want something lighter, I, I can do that as well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, whatever works for your eyesight and, and for you, you can, you can customize for. So it's a very customizable platform, uh, very easy to view. You can change all the colors and the overall color themes as well. You have a tab view here, which will go through basically is your watch list that you can build. They have some pre-defaults here. You can see, you can separate them into different categories. You have them 
uh, different data, last change, volume, and there's a lot of ways to add different data categories. I go to configure the columns. I want to add any categories. You see all these are here, change from the open, percentage, last price. Just have to double click, edit, I get a new data category. I know I'm going quick. This is just, you know, kind of an overview to show you what's available. Certainly, you'd be able to have us give you some detailed instructions if you are looking for this. I just kind of want to go through the different categories and, and selections that you do have so you can just get uh, an idea of the offering the program has. And you can have different tabs here for broken down into different categories. You can see this one's financial or this one's broken down into ETFs. And you can see they're all separated by some headers so you can really build out different watch lists and, and have these out there. Bottom window is my tab view. I have my open orders tab or all orders. So this would be any order that's either open or closed or executed on the day. Open orders or just current pending orders. We have our P&L column. You can see all the symbols and the positions that we have. You have your position, your, your open P&L market value. So you can track your positions very easily as well. And you can break them down into categories if you did have different sectors you were tracking if I wanted to as well. So that's a very nice way to go. So automobiles, we have Tesla. If I wanted to add a new position, let's just say I go to Ford. I'm going to change my price. I'm going to buy some shares. Uh, looks like the demo has some orders already out here, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if I can change this order. Well, that, that didn't work. Sorry about that. It's just uh, the demo has some orders already in there. It is a demo, so certainly you get an idea of all the functionality, but it's not always going to trigger all the orders. But um, you can see if I did place an open order for any symbol, so I can click and drag any symbol into the chart or, or into my watch list from my watch list here very easily. So. I can update that if I wanted to buy the order. You can see this order goes into my open orders window here as well. If it would fill, you'd see it would then go into my positions window here. Unfortunately, not all the symbols fill on the demo, but you can see how it's tracked on the open orders and then I have a total aggregate orders window here as well. So that's some of your basic windows. When you go to the design menu, this is how you can open up anything additional. If you are looking for more charts, simply go to the design and I'm going to configure it and make it a five minute chart, make it a bar graph candlestick. Okay. And I can add that chart in there as well. I have the ability to have um, a separate time and sales window, which you can view bid ask last sale price and go back historical data as well. So there's a lot of functionality here and the design window is where you're going to open up all these new windows from. The minder would be your watch list, the market makers, your level two window, you have the news, you have some other functionality here as well. So uh, it's very easy to customize and open up these layouts. If you want to save a layout, you can do so by just going to the save as. And like I said, if you want to open it, you go into that page menu and you open it. Now there's other ways to also customize your layout. Everything is within the border of the program at the moment, but you can also um, to have some tricks for getting the, um, the orders here to uh, have some tabs and different um, detached windows here. So if I go to a detached window, I can remove this window from the program outside and move it to an alternative monitor. 
So you can really save a lot of space if you have multiple monitors and, and put them onto different windows. So you don't have to stay within the confines of the, of the, the full window border. Additionally, I have the ability to put it onto the top. So you can see I just pinned it to the top. Now I have it as a hide. But if I go back here and I put my mouse over it, it's going to do a drop down. So it's a way to have windows open and not take up space. So I can have a lot more windows open than it looks like. And then now I can put my time and sales in there, but I want to go back to my tab view. It's on top. So I detached that window and I pinned it to the side. And I can do that with this chart as well. So you right click, you go into detach window, and then you can pin it. So you can see it, it's now this one's pinned as well. So I can have something on the side. I can quickly check a chart and then take my mouse off of it and hide it back. So it's a, it's a really nice way to pin and detach these windows from your main window, but still have them all accessible in different manners. So that's something that I really like as well. And then you can link your windows as well. Let's say I just open uh, a window here. If I right click, I go to links. That's gonna allow me to select windows to link it to. So if I wanna link this to my chart here, I just have to highlight the chart that I have. I simply hit okay. Now, next time I change my symbol, Sorry, that should have linked. Uh, let's see. Well, they, they do link. I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble with that. Um, but it is the linking menu. You can link all these windows together. So if I want to have tab view link to my market maker here, it, you know, that should um, allow you to link that. Okay, there we go. So you see, I clicked on the symbol, and then they, they both linked here together. So um, you just have to go through that linking menu to, to do so and link them together. Uh, once you start to get the hang of just your standard order entry, that's when you really can start to customize and that's where Realtek comes into play into some really nice features. They have the ability for OCO, bracket orders, conditional orders, and trigger orders. So we can go through these one at a time. A conditional order, I just have to click off this checkbox. I hit the buy, and it's going to bring up a conditional order box. I can have an order based on a, a price. So if a condition is met, a certain price is reached, or a bidder offer size or a bidder offer price is reached, this will generate an order. So I can have my trigger on top, and then the order to execute will be on the bottom. So if this price is reached, 111.27, this is the order that's going to be triggered. I'm gonna buy then at 111.31. So it's a way for one condition to trigger the actual order to execute. And you can do that off of a price or time. So if I didn't want price, I have time. Let's say I wanted this order to be active at 9.30. If I want it to be at 3.45, I can choose a time trigger. 
or I can have an order trigger. If I have an open order out there, let's say I'm selling or I'm buying 100 shares of MYNG, I can then say if that does trigger, maybe I then want to place an order to immediately sell MYGN at 30. So I can buy at 20 as soon as that goes in, then I know I'm going to have an exit order at 30. So you could have conditional orders based on your orders or your prices. And even on instead of a price, we have custom fields. You can have based on MACD or MACD crossing above or below or the RSI going above or below. So, Or you can create your own custom triggers. So some people are always looking to have the ability for conditional orders to be based on conditions or certain studies or indicators. This is where you would configure that in the conditional order box. So that's a really nice feature to be able to have ways to trigger orders based on strategy if you are looking for breakouts or certain conditions to be met before you want to trigger the order. There's also the OCO and bracket. So we'll go with the bracket first. The bracket allows you to place your entry order and your exit orders all at the same time. So I change my order form. I have a bracket checkbox. I hit buy. It brings up my bracket order form. My entry order is on top. So I'm buying 1,000 shares. And then I have my exit orders. I can choose to just have one of each. And I can have an offset. So let's just say I want a 50 cent profit and a 50 cent loss limit. One's going to be the stop. One's going to be the target limit. So I'm going to buy at my limit price. And then these two orders are going to trigger as sells immediately afterwards. So if I did go to place this order, we have my entry, which is the buy here of 1,000. And then I have my profit order and my sell loss order all going in at the same time. So this is one step order entry for entry and exits. Now, once you have this set, you can also start to build and save strategies. So you don't even have to spend time configuring this. You can see I have a 10 cent, 15 cent strategy. You can have two targets or multiple targets. So I can have one profit and then two layers of losses. If I want to stretch it out, half stretched out for 10 cents, the other one for 20 cents to give myself a little more leeway before I would exit the full position. So there's a lot of ways to set up these strategies and they're all going to be saved where you don't have to configure. So you can see all these ways to set up these bracket orders, 50-50 targets and a loss, or just your standard one-to-one -one ratio as well, two split, two targets, two profits. So, or just, you know, the 100%, 100%, 25% each, a lot of ways to do it. Now I have all these saved in my strategy box. I just hit the strategy, hit the buy, and it would be for the that combination of orders here. All right, so let's, uh, get something else here that uh, so we can see that orders. GDX, all right, so I put in my strategy, 25, hit the buy, and it's already loaded up there. And I don't even need this confirmation window either. I can have this removed, but it's good to check. But I am buying the 1,000 and then selling all of the profit target and the loss limit all at the same time. So it's just a really fast way to configure the bracket orders and, and get them out. Last remaining one that it offers would be an OCO order. So if I go to a, a symbol that I have a position in, so we can see there's a position in, we'll say, EDAP, I can change my order form to the OCO. Now that's an order cancels order. And we can see if I hit my sell button, it shows me now two levels for my orders. Up market is my profit. 
That's going to be my limit order. Then I have my down market as the stop. I'm going to use that as my exit for a stop loss order. And these both can go at the same time. I hit place order. We have confirmation. I'm selling either at 860 or I have a stop at 820. So whichever one gets hit, the other one will cancel. Order cancels order. So that is what's going to trigger when this type of order is placed. So it's a great way to put your profit and target, profit target and your loss limit all at the same time through this functionality. Now on the chart, you can also display your orders. So you can see my position here. Uh, long uh, 500 shares. Let's see, did the orders actually go out there? Unfortunately, it rejected, but that, that's how that would work in the, let's say I think I need to have that, let's try that again for 500 shares. Unfortunately, the demo canceled it here, but you can see how it would go. Um, if we go to a clean chart, something that a symbol we have never uh, traded before, we can do something else. And then you can also apply order entry forms on different windows. So I can have one connected to a chart here as well or other windows. So you don't just need it on the level two window. Okay, if I stretch it out, you can see here it is my order, buy 100 shares. So it's displayed as the chart as an open order. If I click and drag, you can move that as well on the chart. So it's a way to modify orders on the chart is available. And if I want to cancel, I just have to cancel that here. Realtek does have a pairs trading module as well. If someone is interested in um, pairs trading, you can um, put orders in for, you know, buying one leg and selling another of a different stock at the same time and different combinations of, of pairs trading as well. So that's another feature that is available. Uh, we can see we also have the turbo options. I can stretch that out. Great way to do your options and then of course you can have an order entry on your options here. I just have to click to populate. You can see it's gonna go in. You have your chain, all the strikes in the middle, your expiration, or you can have your quick hit expirations on top and change your order type for market or stop order, limit, populate, opening or closing. Make sure we don't send that as a live order. But um, the chart has a lot of information. You can increase the number of strikes. You can have a range. You can show the number of months you want to view. Uh, a lot of settings available as well. You have your turbo options, all these selected columns you can have available. Close date, Greeks, um, underlying um, interest, open interest. So you just have to click and drag open interest, click and, and move it over. Now we have that as a available column here.
And then, of course, there are ways to do spreads as well. So you can do a spread order form. I can just change that to a spread. And I can build different legs, clicking and dragging very easily into my legs. Uh, it'll show if it's a debit or credit, buying or selling, and simply building your, your credit or debit spread and placing that order. So a very quick and easy way to do it. Now with Realtick, you can chart an option contract, but you're not gonna chart a spread. So you, you, can, you can chart the individual contract if you wanna view that, but you're not gonna be able to have a, a chart for the actual spread itself. You can have, someone else also went back to the pairs trading, about more than one symbol you can do that so you can add this and let's just say i want another index etf here as well so you can do that um, if they pair off a little bit so you can see you have the price for one and the price for the other but i think there's a better charting way to do that But you're not going to be able to chart the pair itself as like a paired chart. It's only going to be the, the, the symbols themselves. Okay, so uh, that goes through the turbo options. Uh, if you go back to the order entry, You can also build custom orders for hot keys and hot buttons as well. So if I go into my order entry properties, this is a way for you to set your defaults. There's a lot of settings here, different warnings for trade size and warnings. You can change your increments, your, your order form settings, all your colors. You can all modify here, defaults, and the order actions manager. So there's a lot of predefined orders here, bumping orders, changing quantity, um, cancel orders, all these can be set as hot keys or hot buttons, or you can create your own. So you see we have some already created. Shift L is uh, buy 1000, that, that's already default. So if we see here, Shift L. That looks like it's set up as a bracket. It's not the one I wanted. And you can always edit to view. So this one is uh, buying 500 as a limit. Let's try that one. Control B. So this is, even though it's 1,000 shares, I hit Control B. It's going in for 500 shares as a new order. And then all those confirmations can be removed, so you can have these orders all go in straight away. And then you can create your own. So I go to Orders Actions Manager. I create a new order action, even a macro. You can change all the parameters here. So if I want to go in my quantity, change that order action. I can buy, buy at the bid, sell at the offer, bump price, change to market, cancel order, close position, reverse position, cancel and replace. All these different actions can be set up for a hotkey. Reverse position, you'll buy and sell. Depending on where you are, you can choose your different routes. So a lot of ways to set up these orders and, and use them as quick orders here. And even you can do
combination, these macro orders. You, you can pair off two actions combined. So if I do want to buy one and sell another, you can do that as well. So you can really have some uh, unique order combinations available on, on the system. It can be very complex if you really want it to be. We have closed position for selected symbol. I just have to select that. We'll say Shift Z, hit OK. We go to something that we have a symbol in, GE, Shift Z, close position at the market. So look how quick you can customize an order and set that. You can also create hot buttons. So anything you create as a hot key can also be a button as well. So I go into toolbars, I create a new toolbar. All these orders can be set here. New TB, buy 500, close position. And I could make these different colors. I can change the labels. You can really customize here. So right now I just created two buttons here. So I can quickly buy 500 shares. Then I can simply close the position all with the click of the button or click of the mouse with the keys. An another uh, feature that is really nice, if you look here, I'm going to open up a new market minder. This would be a standard watch list that you have. This is where you could input any of your own symbols that you're looking for. So if I want to just add anything, I can, I can do so very easily. Just type in the symbol and click Add. OK. I add that new symbol. I can right click, go into the Configure Columns. And I can just add any additional fields I'm looking for, OK, and have that. So there's a lot of ways to add different data. But uh, a really nice feature that they offer is what they label as the tree navigator. So this is kind of their built-in scans and filters that you can use to view a lot of additional data categories. So if I just start to open up the tree, there's a lot of uh, categories here. So if I'm looking at NASDAQ stocks, I want to look at pre or post market session, gainers or losers. They have these all broken down into different scans available. So I can look at what's up or down the most on the day for NASDAQ. I could look what's on the primary session here, gap ups, gap downs. Just click and you can view anything that fits these categories. So near 52 week highs or lows, you can see what's active, what's moving, where you can try to get some trade ideas from here. So you can see they have this for New York, for the NYSE, and additional scanners here, ETFs. So it gives you a breakdown of all the categories so you can really see what's moving in each sector, in each category, each exchange to get some really good ideas of what's, uh, you know, where stocks are trading heavy. In addition, you have the US indices, major US indices and index. They have it all built out for you. If I want to know what's composed of the Russell 1000, they have a list. If I want to know what's part of the NASDAQ 100. It's all broken down. NASDAQ banking sector, biotech. All these symbols that compose these index are available and you can see what's moving a sector very easily. All this is included in the standard Realtek offering as well. This is not an additional function. This is part of the standard data that they provide. Same thing with the Dow Jones or the S&P. I want to see what, why is the Dow up? Well, the Dow is up because there's 30 stocks that compose that index. These are the stocks. What, are, what is driving it the most? So you can see what is up or down the most, where the volume is the heaviest, 
and Y. Same thing with the industrial or the transport and the S&P 100 or 500. This is why the S&P is up. What makes the S&P 500? The S&P is up on the day. So we can search and sort by what's highest. So Amazon is driving that with the percent, but then you can see percent change. AYI, Harley Davidson, that they, they have the highest percent change on the day. They're driving why the S&P is up for the day. So these are very nice tools that this will provide and they do have some extra ones you can pay for. Then also you have your put call volume, you're, you're, you're inclined to decline, your tick and trend, all that would be available here as well. So that's a really nice feature here that they have. Uh, so to go over just some of the costs of the platform, so um, you know exactly what you're looking at here. Realtek will have two different programs that they have. It's uh, There's a full pro version, which has everything. Then there's an express version. The express version is limited in some of the data and some of the windows, so you might not be able to view every symbol in the in the watch list at one time or have so many level two windows open, but it's still going to provide all the order functionality and the same uh, features. So we can see here monthly software. So um, the pro version is, 325 per month for the monthly software for Easy, and the Express version is 125. Market data would be an additional cost, and we do have this listed here of the differences between the Express and the Pro. So the Pro is 325, the Express is 125, limited to four level twos, but it does can provide conditional orders, brackets, and OCOs. It does have the towel tree and the advanced scanning tools and watch list. So all that is available. Uh, the, the pro version will provide for multi-asset trade allocations, some additional no limits on market minders. So there's some differences in the, in the offerings between express or not. Um, our commissions, we offer either per trade or per share. So per trade would be 450. Uh, per share is 0045. Uh, we do have a $3 minimum on Realtek, so just be aware of that. Most people do the per trade rate on Realtek. And then you have to account for the routing fees, which are charged on a per share basis as well, depending on where you're routing the orders. You have the ability to select either the Lightspeed Smart Route or other exchange routes, market makers, strategy routes, all available as well. We do currently have a new account promotion. It is a $10,000 cash back offer up to 10,000. So essentially you get a rebate of 50% of your commissions for equities or options for the first three months up to 10,000. So whatever amount of commissions you generate for the first three months, you would receive a lump sum credit back for half of that as a, as a one-time credit back. So if you're interested in that, there's a promo code, it's uh, 10K2021, 10K2021. So you just would have to go to our new account application and uh, put in this promo code here. You can select myself as a sales rep or if you've uh, worked with anyone else here, certainly please uh, have them assigned to you. They'll help you get the account open and, and through the process. But uh, it's important to put that promo code in here. So if you are looking for the details of the code, it's lightspeed.com slash 10K-2021. And this will tell you the uh, the details. You have to stay open for three months and have a balance of 25,000. So you can view the terms there, but it's a really nice way to have an introduction to us and get a big uh, discount on your trading for the first three months. If you are looking to open the account, so you can do that from this promo page, but certainly just from 
lightspeed.com as well. Open the account and go through your application. So uh, some questions that we have on the platform. Um, what do you guys think so far? I know I, I go quick and the demo doesn't always cooperate as much since the order execution doesn't really happen like it would in, in a real account, but you can certainly see just the, the breadth of the offering itself. Um, if you are looking to change some configurations, I can go into the tools you are looking to change the whole theme and color, you can do so. So really, you know, whatever is going to look best for you and, and for your eyes, you can change that or you can do it yourself and change all the colors. So you can turn on a theme or turn it off. You have the standard black and orange or blue and white. So whatever's going to work best for you and your eyesight and the colors you can do. And, you know, we didn't even touch on all the settings that they have here. There's a lot of ways to uh, configure the, your default for your order entry, for your limits, for different prices, and, and really customize the charts and the studies as well. So I said on the chart, put that as a bar graph, uh, goes through very clean, stretch it out, open up additional charts. Let's now say I wanted a seconds bar, I want a 10 second chart. You can also click to view the information. I get rid of that. So you see when you right click, you can get all different options for adding studies, your analysis manager, go to your order entry properties to change different ways to enter orders. So there's just a lot of settings. Uh, the, the demo is great to go through and just view the different settings, figure out how you want to configure your orders and, and your information. And then you can save some favorite charts so you can quickly bring them up. So there, there's some really nice looking features and charting available here as well.
So certainly, you know, uh, go to the Lightspeed website, request a demo, test it out, and just come back to us with some questions. If you're ever looking for a training session, we can always do a walkthrough and schedule uh, a personal um, session here to, to go through the different features and settings and configurations. We're happy to do that. So um, like I said, feel free to email me or contact the sales group, sales at lightspeed.com. Go to the website and request some demos and look at some of our other videos as well. And uh, we're happy to assist with any questions that you have. So uh, thank you guys for taking the time to take a look. Uh, I know I went through it quickly and not everything was great, but hope you at least get an idea of what the platform has available. Uh, you know, the main features, just to recap, um, very fast data, very nice customizable charts, the ability for order entry configurations, OCO orders, conditional orders, bracket orders, hotkeys, hot buttons, and then the built-in scanners and configurations and, and the data categories for your watch list as well, and very easy ways to configure order and P&L tracking. So that's what you want from a platform, the ability to track your orders, view your positions, get the market data, and then enter orders any way you feel is the best way to make you the most efficient. Realtek gives you a lot of options, and that's why it is a professional platform. So uh, guys, thank you very much. Have a great night, and uh, we hope to hear from you. So uh, thank you.